Hello, dear students. This is Mrs. Dina, and today we're going to read the last page of our reading lesson. The Earth Dragon Awakes, the San Francisco Earthquake of 1906 by Lawrence Yep. Selection illustrated by Juan Lee. But before we continue reading, we have to answer a few questions. Was this story told by a person who is already a character in the story? No, the narrator doesn't have any role in the story. So, can we say that this story was told from the first-person point of view? Well, when I say first-person point of view, this means that the narrator is a character in the story. And since in this lesson, the narrator is not a character in the story, this means that, no, it's told from the third-person point of view. The narrator only observes the events and characters from outside the story. So he's outside the story. When the narrator is outside the story, then the story is told from the third person point of view. He uses the pronouns he, she, and they. In order to figure out whether a story is told from the first or third person point of view, you should ask yourself if the speaker is inside or outside the story. If the speaker is inside the story, then the story is told from the first person point of view. If the speaker is outside the story, then it is told from the third person point of view. Now, let's open our reading books to page 314, that is the last page. Above him, he hears feet. Someone starts to dig. Boards and bricks and plaster chunks thump to the side. So big pieces of boards, bricks and plaster move to the side producing a dull sound. Blindly, Chin helps his rescuer widen the hole. So he helps the one who's trying to save him to make the hole wider. Of course, blindly, because his eyes are filled with dust. Strong hands grip his wrists. Grip is catch fast. The wrist is the part of the hand where you wear the watch. He feels himself rising until he sees Aquan's big grinning face. Grinning means smiling face. You're the biggest turnip that I ever pulled up. Turnip is the root of a plant that is edible, that is eaten as a vegetable. Aquan laughs in relief, so here he's relaxed. He hauls Chin onto the rubble. He pulls Chin. Chin has only one thought on his mind. Father, he gasps and points below him. Gasps, it means he breathes, but in a very hard way. As Aquan digs for his father, Chin manages to spit out the plaster dust. Then he tears at the debris too. So he manages to pull away the debris or the rubble too. Then finally they are safe. It's your turn now to practice reading page 314 and be ready to retell the events so that you'll be able to do page 26 in the handouts booklet easily. I bet you can do it.